So yeah, I am uh, looking at um, everything as far as lossless scaling and auto FPS, and it looks like they are working well together. So I don't really see any issues as of yet. All right, I am running an experiment right now. I'm actually using lossless scaling in conjunction with auto FPS. And I am in 2D mode. Uh, this is a challenging sort of runway here you'll see in a second. I just want to see how everything works. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. This is a big downhill here. Here we go. Sounds like a ski slope. Beautiful area. Not sure as how it's pronounced. Uh, Port Cheval, France, I believe. Yeah, so I absolutely love um, lossless scaling. I think it works really, really good. And uh, currently I have it on the setting of times two, three. Uh, times three, I should say. And, um, you know, I've been kind of noticing that it works very well on its own. Like, I don't even necessarily need auto FPS. Uh, let's bring up the flaps here. But, you know, I just want to see if it would be a good thing to use them both together or not. Uh, Auto FPS uh, currently has me at 250, uh, which is what I set for the max terrain level of detail. And I set the uh, FPS at 40, but it looks like I'm getting about 55 roughly as a base FPS and then times three, so it's uh, multiplying that by three with the um, lossless scaling. So auto FPS is saying that my, my FPS is at 170 right now. I'm wondering if auto FPS is just kind of uh, seeing what I'm seeing in a way because it definitely feels very smooth with lossless scaling but I'm not sure how it's going to record we'll see because the base is still roughly about uh, uh, 50 frames per second So yeah, I am uh, looking at um, everything as far as lossless scaling and auto FPS, and it looks like they are working well together. So I don't really see any issues as of yet. Cessna 152 Echo Romeo, Genève Tower, winds calm, runway 04, clear to land. Runway 04, clear to land, Cessna 152 Echo Romeo.
should have a pretty uh, pretty straight in approach. Just trying to see if I can uh, get the airport in sight. I do have to say that I, I am loving how everything looks in 2D. It's a lot more clearer and crisper than... ...than in VR. Increasing the throttle just a little bit here. Looks like an uh, airliner is about to land, as I am. At least that's what it sounded like. center there. I'm still uh, trying to get used to flying in 2D. Cessna 2, Echo Romeo, contact ground on 
Over the ground at 121.68, that's now 152 Echo Romeo. As far as um, using uh, lossless scaling and auto FPS, uh, I think it was a good combination. Everything uh, kind of worked out very nicely. And the one thing I have noticed, I've experienced, and a lot of other people have experienced also, is that on approach for landing, a lot of times there'll be a lot of stuttering uh, going on, and uh, ever since I've been using lossless scaling, I really haven't been experiencing that. So, that's a good thing. Thankfully, we have programs like uh, lossless scaling and auto FPS that can help out because these are things that really. Microsoft Flight Simulator and a Sobo should be doing as far as getting the smoothness working correctly and perhaps having some some tools built in like auto FPS or lossless scaling for example where you can kind of smooth things out a bit yeah I am pretty much in the 40s as far as a base FPS. It's doing a very good job. Uh, you know, as I landed, it reduced the terrain level of detail to my minimum that I had set, which is 75 for both uh, terrain level of detail and object level of detail. So yeah, everything is looking really good. I'm, I'm uh, very happy with how that worked out and how that performed so i'm just going to leave it right there guys and i'm going to continue on flying here at my next um, destination and uh, perhaps i will uh, post that video as well i'll see you all next time